If you're an experienced street rider who wants to try this adventure riding thing and take your motorcycle from the pavement off-road, stick around. I'm gonna show you three things that are gonna help you feel more comfortable and confident when you're riding this stuff. Off-road can mean many things. Mud, sand, rocks, and gravel, which is what we have here and what we ride the most. We've got pea gravel right on top of hard pack. When you go from pavement to dirt, traction is less predictable and your tires have less grip. It feels like the bike is moving around underneath you a lot more than it does when you're on pavement. Changing to an off-road tire can certainly help with traction, but the way you ride the motorcycle will make the biggest difference. Standing on your motorcycle while riding off-road is one of the most basic, fundamental skills the most important reason to stand on your motorcycle when you ride off-road is control. When you're on the pavement and you're sitting on the motorcycle, you're being active by moving around on the seat. We change that point of influence off-road by standing and taking that down to our feet on the pegs. When you sit on your motorcycle off-road, it can feel like it's moving all around underneath you. As soon as you stand up, things get smoother. That's because all the nerve endings in the bottom of your feet are communicating with your brain for better balance. This allows us to steer the motorcycle much more efficiently, to dodge objects and direct the motorcycle. Another benefit of standing is vision. When you stand up, you have a much better perspective of what the road's gonna throw at you. It's unpredictable terrain, unpredictable objects. You need to be able to slow down, change directions, or stop fast. Being able to see from this perspective is a safe way to do that. Standing also allows us to use the built-in suspension on our bodies, which is our knees. So an active rider position when you're standing up Definitely don't be all the way forward or prairie dogging. Maybe if you're relaxing for a moment, that's fine, but you need to be an active rider. Knees bent, never have your knees locked, butt down just a little bit. Keep your back straight, that's very important. In this position, our legs are pretty strong. They're gonna wear out after a while. We can take a break and sit down, but what you don't wanna do is bend your back. You don't wanna bend over trying to reach the controls or trying to reach the handlebars. Remember, on a road like this, Arches on the pegs, knees bent, back straight, and eyes up. Riding roads like this can cause anxiety. Anxiety causes tension. We try to squeeze the bars too much and steer the bike because we feel it moving. If we're tense and we're using the bars to hold ourselves on or to feel stable, that doesn't allow us to flow with the motorcycle. So what we have to remember is we're not steering with the handlebars anymore, we're steering with our feet on the pegs. Also what it doesn't allow us to do is give delicate input to the controls. If I need to slow down really fast and I slam my front brake just like I did on the pavement, it's not gonna work the same off-road. One tip to help with that is to squeeze the seat tank area with your knees. What this does is you're using the strongest muscles in your body for stability. It sends a stability sense to your brain that says, okay, now I feel much more stable. Now you do what you want with your arms and your hands. So you can be looser. You can kind of let that front float. Just steer with your feet on the pegs. And when it comes time to give input to the controls, you can do it much more delicately. Counterbalancing, counterweighting, weight shifting. What that means off-road is completely different than it is on-road. You want to shift your weight outside of a turn. I'm talking about the weight that's between your mid-thighs and your waistline. That's where you want to shift your hips. So if I'm taking a left turn, my shoulders stay parallel with the bars. My elbows stay up. My outside knee is kind of in that seat tank area for some stability. My weight shifts to the outside. My feet just stay on the pegs in whatever position I'm comfortable with or whatever position I'm in at the time. Now, if I'm going fast, 
my weight shift is much more subtle. I'm not turning the bars, I'm leaning the bike. So if the bike is leaned, my weight shift is much more subtle, I'm using the throttle more. When I slow down, the bike gets heavier, it leans farther. So when the bike leans farther, I need to counteract that with more of a weight shift outside. A vast majority of the world's roads are unpaved. Your motorcycle is capable of riding roads like this. Using the simple techniques I taught you in this video, you're gonna open up a whole new world of riding possibilities.